The D box is Dangerous Music's greatest hits box. In other words, it incorporates some of the finest features and functionality from other products in the line with zero audio compromise. Analog summing, headphone amplification, speaker selection, talkback and monitoring faculties are all neatly tucked away into this formidable single rack space. The D-Box provides solutions to the practical, daily needs of today's compact computer-based studios and executes them with no audio sacrifice. Two independent 20-watt headphone amplifiers provide serious headroom to audition with intelligibility and to allow intelligent decisions. Separate volume knobs accommodate different users' tastes and headphones of differing impedances to be used simultaneously. Communicate with the talent via the built-in talkback mic directly into their headphones. Set the level and hit the talkback button. Come on, Dave. The mono button combines the left and right channels to the monitors. Use this to check phase. Did things get quieter? Louder? Instruments missing? This is an indication that left and right are not playing nicely together. Note, many formats are still delivered in mono. Consider television and radio in developing countries where the population is 5 billion strong. And of course, every club and live music venue. The alternate speaker button allows the engineer to switch between two sets of monitors. Note, not all selectors are equal. The D-Box achieves this noiselessly without dropouts or phase shift. Moment toggle is extremely useful. It has two modes, momentary or latching. In latch mode, if a button is pressed and released quickly, it will lock. In toggle mode, if a button is pressed and held for more than a second, the function remains on until the button is released. For example, want to dart between mono and stereo a few times quickly? This is toggle mode. Or do you need to leave it in mono to see what's ailing the mix? This is latch mode. Need to bark Rolling. over the talkback mic to the talent? Or leave it open for a lengthy discussion between the singer in the tracking room and the drummer, drunk in the control room, blooming with epiphanies. Oh, man! Gotcha. Setup mode controls two functions. Some switch. Some switch and analog switch. The D-Box is set from the factory to monitor from a single source. The sum switch changes that by allowing monitoring from multiple sources simultaneously, like sum input and analog input. Enter setup mode by pressing the mono and alt speaker buttons simultaneously. Then press the sum switch. It will light up. Next, exit setup mode and, like magic, monitor any combination of inputs mixed together. Analog switch. The analog monitor gain is factory calibrated for plus 4 dBU sources to accommodate consumer and other minus 10 devices like iPods and DVD players. First enter setup mode and then press the analog switch. The switch will light and add 11.7 dB of gain. Pressing the lit analog switch while in setup mode extinguishes the light and returns the gain to plus 4 dBU. The input select section has two analog and two digital sources to choose from. The selected input is set to both the speakers and the headphone amplifiers. The sum switch monitors from the sum output. In other words, the combination of the eight summed inputs. Use this to hear the mix before it hits the external processing or A to D conversion. The analog switch selects the analog input source from the rear panel. Connect all sorts of goodies here and audition them. Synths, drum machines, a submixer, an iPod, virtual instruments, sound effects libraries, or two track editors fed from an alternative computer output. Both DAW and CD buttons are digital inputs that feed the D-Box's D-to-A converter. Monitoring from the same D-to-A allows mixed decisions to be made unclouded by different sounding converters. Whoa! Where's all that top end crunch coming from? Could be the 10 cent converter in that CD player you're using. Oh. Note, the converter will recognize and lock to either AES or SPDIF sources. All you need is the right cable. No transformer required. The sum output trim knob adjusts the mix from the DB25 summing input connector on the rear of the unit. Use this to dial in the optimal level for the mix down A to D converter. 12 o'clock is usually the optimal position to start from. The eight signal LEDs reveal when a signal is present at the summing inputs. 
use them for troubleshooting when determining whether audio is passing into the D-Box. Fellas, it was sounding great, but I could have used a little more cowbell. Note, these will also help you track down unwanted DC at your input. The volume knob controls the level to the monitors from whatever source or sources has been selected. Note, this does not affect the summing output. The first six channels of the summing section are fed to the stereo bus in pairs. For example, 1 and 2, 3 and 4, and 5 and 6. All panning is automated in your computer software. For example, assign all the drums to DAW outputs 1 and 2, and pan internally as desired. Assign guitars to 3 and 4, and do the same. Assign synths and effects to 5 and 6. Right. 7 and 8 have pan pots. These allow the individual instruments, like bass or vocals, to utilize outboard processing, like compression or EQ. For example, assign both the bass and vocal track to a mono output in the computer software. Now patch their signals into your favorite outboard gear, like a Bax EQ. And then on into the D-Box's sum input 7 and 8. Pan these up the center, and you're summing with analog outboard. Don't forget, you can always strap stereo processors across the other pairs as well. Talkback Remote Plug in a foot switch here to communicate with the talent via the built-in talkback mic, directly into their headphones. Ask for a momentary foot switch, with normally open contacts, from your local audio grocer. The analog input provides an alternative analog input source. Connect all sorts of goodies here and audition them. Samplers, synths, drum machines, a submixer, an iPod, virtual instruments, Giga Sampler, a sound effects library, or a two track editor fed from an alternative computer output. Remember, either plus 4 dBU or minus 10 dBV analog devices may be utilized. Summing input. Connect to dB25 here from the eight outputs of your audio source. Note. The DB25 connector adheres to the Tascam and DigiDesign wiring standards for eight channels of balanced analog input. Plug the power supply in here. Good housekeeping dictates you plug it into the D-Box before plugging it into the wall. Both DAW and CD connectors are digital inputs that feed the D-Box's D to A converter. Monitoring from the same D to A allows mixed decisions to be made unclouded by different sounding converters. Ten miles to Where's all that top end crunch coming from? Could be the 10 cent converter in the CD player you're using. Oh. Note, the converter will recognize and lock to either AES or SPDIF sources. All you need is the right cable. No transformer required. Sum output. This is the combination of eight summed inputs. These should be wired back into the DAW, thus printing the mix into the same session. The sum switch selects monitoring from here. Audition your mix before it hits the external processing or A to D converters. Main and alternate speaker outputs. These jacks provide connection with two pairs of studio monitors. Note, not all switches are equal. The D-Box achieves this noiselessly without dropouts or phase shift. 